Good evening, everyone. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Quick update on what's going on with the weather across the region. We've got some big time storms that have now moved out of the region. So if you have evening plans, things are actually looking pretty good the rest of the evening. If you don't mind a few clouds and maybe a lingering shower here and there, most of this activity Activity is actually moving out of the area. Here's a quick loop shows you how everything's kind of moving out of the area. Still some nasty storms in the upstate of South Carolina. Let's go to First Warren Doppler radar. We'll show you a little closer. There's so much lightning in here. It's almost impossible uh, to kind of see where these storms uh, are because of the lightning. So let me show you the lightning uh, information first. We'll get that out of the way because it's pretty impressive. About 2,500 uh, cloud to ground lightning strikes just in the past hour. That should, could show you how many strikes we've had. Uh, just in the past hour. Uh, let's take a look at the storm reports because we're still getting some storm reports um, across the area. Let me grab my reports queue and we'll show you. We had a 50 mile an hour wind gust recorded uh, right around, it looks like just to the southeast of I-26 I near New Cutoff Road. And then some two inch diameter hail, that's golf ball size hail reported in a few locations near uh, it looks like along 290 south of Lake Robinson Road there near the Spartanburg area. Some really nasty storms uh, moving into the upstate of South Carolina. So while that's out of our viewing area just a bit, um, I did want to pass along to some of our viewers online. When you look at the Doppler velocities, very impressive wind speeds uh, moving through that area. In fact, let me switch over to our base velocity because that tends to do a much better job with these wind speeds. You see these yellows in here uh, and kind of orange colors. Uh, those are winds that are um, probably in excess of 50 to 60 miles an hour. So still some really strong winds moving through these areas in the upstate of South Carolina. So let's turn off our lightning again and just do a quick backtrack on where the storms are, are where they've been across the Charlotte area. For the most part, we're dry, but I'm going to call up the radar here, uh, satellite and radar together, and show you we've got a little storm just to the south of Bisco. Got to keep an eye on this storm. This storm might hold together and move into parts of Stanley County. If it holds together, I think we will have this storm affecting the maybe parts of East Charlotte again. There's a quick track on that storm moving to the west at about 30 to 40 miles an hour. So just a quick update on what's going on with the storms out there. I'll widen this back out and we'll loop this and you can see things are improving dramatically across the Charlotte area, but for the upstate, the Asheville area, back into Northeast Georgia, gonna be a rough evening for about another 20 or 30 minutes. Of course, we'll keep things up to date on Facebook, Twitter, WCNC.com, our Weathercaster app, and I'll see you tonight on TV at 11, unless we get warnings before then.